What's up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. It's so good to have you in the studio. I have a super exciting video for you guys. In front of you, you have some of my favorite glaze combinations. And that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about all about my favorite glazes and my favorite glaze combinations. We're gonna take pieces from the bisque all the way through the glaze and show you exactly how I do each of them. Especially exciting about this video is I've teamed up with Mako. Uh, so if you know, I've been using Mako glazes for over a year now. They're my favorite and I partnered with Mako to bring you guys a JTP kit. So Mako is gonna be selling six the, my favorite six glazes, the ones we're gonna talk about today. So we have Lavender Mist. So this is a Lavender Mist combo. We have Midnight Rain over Winter Wood. That's what this one is. We have, this is Aurora Green and Norse Blue over Sandstone. This is Aurora Green over Winter Wood. And then this is a Norse Blue uh, Sandstone combo as well. So, super excited. Uh, this sale is just gonna run of the JTP kit from November 21st until November 28th. So if you guys want to go check it out and get these glazes on your own, you can enter the code John the Potter and get 20% off. So it's a really exciting opportunity to get some of my favorites. So this video, we are gonna take, we're gonna take these spiral tumblers and show you guys exactly how to do six of my favorite combinations using those six glazes that are now available on the Mako site. All right, you guys ready? Super exciting, let's do it. So we got six glazes, Norse Blue, Midnight Rain, Winter Wood, Lavender Mist, Roar Green, and then we have Sandstone is over there. So this is where I have my Sandstone. Glaze is in this bucket right here. Really, really important to always mix the glazes up like a lot, like I'll even mix up after I've glazed like four or five pieces, I'll mix it up again. And I even mix it up and then I'll let it sit for a couple minutes and then come back and mix it up even more. So if you think about all the chemicals that you, is the dry powder in there and then you add water to it, like as it sits over time, the particles all kind of fall to the bottom. So you wanna make sure they get mixed up and you just wanna make sure that it's like, there's even amount of particles all the way throughout the whole thing, which takes a fair amount of mixing. So I use this drill most of the time. So the first combo, I'm not gonna show you the mixing of all the glazes. I'll just assume that I'm mixing throughout this video. Uh, but the first combo that we're gonna do is Aurora Green over Sandstone, which is one of my favorite combos. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I do the, whenever I use these crystal glazes from Mako, I always dip it down like this, and then I go up really quickly. I have a whole video about this. Um, and then switch it around so that you get the inside. Because if you dip like this with the crystal glazes, then you end up getting a lot of the crystals inside there and you pour it out and all the crystals are on one side and it's just, it, to me, it doesn't look as good on the inside. So I take my cup, go down, pop! And then the inside should all be good. Outside's all covered. Okay, so these two are now sandstone. When they're totally dry, which they're pretty close, then we'll go back and put the Aurora Green on top. Next combo we're gonna do is Midnight Rain over Winter Wood. So this is Winter Wood right here. Okay, so we're gonna do the whole thing Winter Wood. So, the next combo is Lavender Mist over Winter Wood. But I want Lavender Mist on the whole thing. So instead of dipping the Winter Wood like we just did where we dip the whole thing, we're just gonna dip like the top third to half. Just like that. So then after this dries, so this is Winter Wood on the top, then we will dip the whole thing in lavender mist. So you got these two. So this next combo, we're gonna do um, three different glazes. We're gonna do Aurora Green, Norse Blue, and Sandstone. But we're gonna make them the, we'll call it the dominant glaze. What's a better name for that? We'll call it the, the main glaze will be Aurora Green and the, the top two. So we're gonna do Sandstone first and then Norse Blue and then Aurora Green. Okay, so these two, have sandstone on the top right now. And then once this is dry, then we'll do Norse blue, like right to where that is. And then we'll do a roar green on the whole thing. Okay, 
Next one, sandstone over winter wood. Okay, that'll be easy. So now we're just gonna dip these in winter wood again. You can notice that I'm using sandstone and winter wood a lot. And that's really cause those are, those are the glazes that I love and that I found work super well with others. Like basically you put them in combination with other glazes and they almost always turn out, in my opinion. Oh no! Okay, and so for the last, I had a plan to do this one, but I decided we're gonna try something brand new that I've never done before. So I think I'm gonna try to do like a layer of sandstone and then a layer of lavender mist around the top, and then we'll do Norse blue on the bottom. So ideally, theoretically, what will happen is the lavender mist and the sandstone will drip down and then like kind of drip through the Norse blue. So you'll be able to see the Norse blue by itself, but then it'll have like lavender mist dripping through it. Never done this one before. I think it could be kind of cool. So let's try it out. We got the sandstone to there. Okay, so remember this one that we're trying, they're testing this out, we've never done this before. So we're gonna pour the lavender mist on the inside first to coat the inside, and then we're gonna dip it just past the mark right there where you can see we didn't glaze that, so that hopefully we'll get a little drip down into the Norse blue. But we shall see. So pour it in. Then as we pour it out, we spin it a little bit, and then we dip down. It's gonna be really interesting. What we had already sandstone in there, so we're just gonna dip that. Boom. All right, friends. So we got all of our pots all done. I can't remember what they all are, but you know what they are, I don't need to tell you. Um, so now we got to just glaze. So I got to glaze all what's in here. Got to unload this, glaze a bunch of those so we can fill up this kiln. And then we'll be back in a couple days to show you guys these finished results. It's gonna be sweet. All right, see you in a little bit. Oh, before I forget, we do have a sale coming up, Black Friday, November 27th at noon. So if you guys want to buy any pots, that's one of our last two sales of the year and then we're not gonna have anything for sale for a while. So, check it out. All right, see you in a couple days. So it's the next day, so I came out here after it was finished, pulled all the plugs, kinda cracked it a little bit so I could cool it down quicker. Sometimes it takes like two days to cool down, uh, but when the, that's only when they're really full. This wasn't like a super full kiln. But we're gonna unload it. I'm gonna show you guys what our combos look like. So there's the first combo. That's Aurora Green over Sandstone. Pretty much always one of my faves, super good. This is to cone seven. So it looks different when you go to cone six. It looks way different when you slow cool the schedule. But I'll save that for another, another vid. So there's those two. But here is Winter Wood and Midnight Rain. This is one of my favorite blue combos, just a super, Nice, rich, deep blue. This is also another glaze that can vary a ton depending on if you like load crystals on it or if you slow cool it, stuff like that. But there's Midnight Rain over Winter Wood. Here's the Sandstone over Winter Wood. And I'll admit that this one didn't turn out as good as it sometimes does. I think my Sandstone and Winter Wood might be a little thinner than it is other times. But sometimes you get this, you start to see it right here, this like really cool like pink haze, purplish, Haze, and I like that when it happens, and this is a little bit more boring, but still cool, a little more like elegant than some of my other glazes, which are really like in your face, dynamic. Classic Lavender Mist, so that's just one of my favorite combos right there. You get these like blue colors in there with the Winter Wood and the Lavender combo. And then I love just like the line. So, and, and again, sometimes this will drip a little more, but 
I'd say that Lavender Mist and Winter Wood are both in pretty good consistency. All right, and then these two combos both have three different glazes. So this one is Sandstone, Norse Blue, and then Aurora Green on the whole thing, which that turned out really cool. Really cool, love that. So this is the one where you can see these micro crystals start to grow a little bit, and sometimes you get crazy growth, especially when you slow cool it, but that one is really cool. All right, and then the last one. So this was the new tester that we did. So this is the Lavender Mist over Sandstone and then Norse Blue on the bottom, so it's kind of a purple and blue. Kind of, we got, we went with really light combos. I was hoping for a little bit more of this action where you got like these drips that come through and it didn't quite happen. That Lavender Mist doesn't really um, run as much as some of the other ones, so. But, so there you go, those are six, six of my favorite combos. Here's some, I'll just quick show you some other pieces in this. This is Aurora Green over Green Opal. This actually is the same combo as this one. Isn't that interesting? This is on a different clay body and it's using sandstone as kind of the main glaze where this is the full glaze and this is using Aurora Green as the main glaze. So, I think I'm a little partial to this, but so basically, these are the same exact glazes on these two, just applied a little differently. And on a different clay body too. This is on buff stoneware. That clay is B clay from Continental Clay, which is super similar to like B mix, which is more common. Here's a, here's a darker combo for you. This is my classic Canyon Skies on a textured mug. So, hey, check out the JTP kit from Mako, available only the week of the 21st to the 28th. So go on there, you can buy powder form five pound bags, just like I have, or you can get them in smaller pints, which would be less, much cheaper. Just keep in mind, if you get the pints and you're brushing it on, then you gotta do like, you know, for this I would do like two or three coats of winter wood, and then I would do another two or three coats of lavender mist. Like that's one of the advantages of dipping and pouring is you just, that's like one solid glaze coverage, whereas when you're brushing it, you really have to think about like, okay, I need to put another layer on. Or, and if it's still not dripping or not as much movement as you want, then you gotta do more layers. Let me know which combo was your favorite in this video and let me know any other combos that you think I should test out. So, all right, subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. We'll see you guys in the next video. This is a cool one too, copper wash. With sandstone on top. These are all Minnesota mugs in that I should figure out a combo name for that because it's really good. Norse Blue, Aurora Green, Sandstone. Again, same glaze combo at the top, but it's a different main glaze at the bottom, so. But those turned out really nice. Love that. Ooh. Those, these sold so quickly in the last restock. Gorgeous. So cool. Oh, there's a, a Norse Blue textured one. And then there's the Midnight Rain, Minnesota. And I gotta count them, mark them, load another kiln. Alrighty. Peace!